might be pushing it. Probably need about a hundred acre field right now to even get to the corner. So we will make a bunch of changes and then try it again at qualifying here at five. Qualified 17th. We got some ways to go, but uh, we'll see what happens. Abrasive racetrack. A lot of people are going to be saving, so we'll see how it shakes out and hopefully come out here with a good finish. I think he knew it, but he didn't know it. Yeah. Okay. So we're Landon, guys, we're up tonight. Definitely, we're all up on the wheel trying to. For the real Here we go for 125 laps around New River All-American Speedway. I'm going to keep the race portion more condensed here because we didn't run very good, my spotter audio didn't work, and it was just a really frustrating weekend as far as dealing with the car. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about some main points during this race and show some footage from the stands and the end car, but most of it's going to be me talking to you guys in a very brief, condensed version of what I typically do for the uh, race portion of these vlogs. So thank you guys for being here and hopefully you enjoy this little brief portion and then the next video will be back to our regularly programmed race day vlogs.
We are green and you're gonna see how slow the pace is right off the bat just because of how abrasive this racetrack is. It's incredibly abrasive. It wears the tires tremendously. And so we're riding around literally three to five seconds off the pace of what we qualified. And you'll see here at the beginning, I choose to just ride in the very back and kind of assess the situation. I realized that the pace was slow enough. I could drive around a lot of these guys and not hurt my tires that much. So I make that decision here early to pass a lot of these cars, still really going like half throttle down the straightaways and get some track position and fall in line and just see if we can maintain it for the rest of the race. about 15 laps in here and in the car store if you go 40 laps green consecutively you're guaranteed a caution unless it's inside the last 25 laps so we know we're going to get a caution at some point so a lot of these guys are just riding and taking care of it and watch how easy it is just to drive around these guys keep in mind literally still half throttle and not abusing the tires obviously not saving as much as these guys are but I still did not feel like I was hurting my tires much at all doing this because the pace is so slow. So in a matter of like maybe eight to 10 laps, if that, I'm already up here towards the top five and I'm eventually gonna settle in in third to fourth here and then ride until that competition caution, which you'll see here in just a second. This is still under green running fourth. And this is before the competition caution comes out, maybe five laps before, and look at how slow we're going. Going back green here, and I'm just gonna kinda fast forward through this second segment of the race pretty quick, but it's nothing but riding just like the first, and we stay in the top six or seven the entire time, just riding around until we get to 45 to go.
And there is the caution for lap 80, which is another 40 consecutive green. So now it's 45 to go and we're not guaranteed a caution in the final 45 laps. You're gonna see everyone really pick the pace up this last segment and uh, I'll show us dropping backwards because we, we were really struggling uh, pretty much all weekend and it shows right here at the end. This right here actually hurt my tires a good bit and I feel like this was probably the worst thing that could have happened on the initial restart here with 45 to go, but me getting hung three wide, this 15 car was considerably slower than even we were and it just stuck me out here and I had to really use tire to try to get back down and race three wide. I just could not get off the corner like everyone else can, and I'm rolling tight into the middle, which ends up causing it to snap loose late exit, and my drive off's just not there. Really the same stuff that we fall all weekend uh, long and tried to work on it. We gave it our best shot, but we just could not get it out of the car. And now that the tires are worn, I think that this is where it shows its face the worst. And uh, obviously right here, we're just struggling. White flag lap here, coming back to the checkers. This is going to be a P16 finish for us when we get back around here. Obviously not a stellar run for us and one of our worst runs here as of late. Uh, this was the RNS car and not the Reynolds car, like I said earlier, that we've been finding success in. So looking forward to getting back in that car uh, at Martinsville, but unfortunately just not the run we were looking for here at uh, New River. That is going to do it for New River All-American Speedway and our Cars Tour effort. Uh, we'll probably get back there next year on the tour, but I'm not sure. Either way, I forgot to do an outro. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching per usual. And we will have more race day vlogs coming at you this weekend.